We're coming up to the end of December 2013, so let's take a look at who has won the Quids Up Distro of the Year award. Literally no expense has been spared in the making of this trophy. A couple of hours or so in Inkscape. Anyway, I have reviewed 42 Linux distros this year, quite a bit more than previous year. So in third place, with a score of 88%, I have Lubuntu 13.10. Now its predecessor, Lubuntu 1304, actually held first place for a couple of months or so this year. Now it feels really weird giving what is a dull, boring Linux distro such a high score. But honestly, it worked, it was really fast, it was very lightweight, and it had most things that you would need to get up and running. What more do you want out of an OS sometimes? In second place, with a score of 90%, I have Elementary OS Luna. This distro was long time in the making, and in the end you could actually see why. They've made their own desktop. It's very nice, fast, and a bit more unique than what you see out of the other offerings for the desktops in the Linux operating systems. And my experience of it was actually really good. I didn't have any problems with running it. I could see some problems with it actually with uh, having difficulties with modern hardware, but you could actually replace the kernel, so that's really a small thing. And in fact, it was made more for the advanced user, this distro, because it came with very few applications. The applications that they'd included had their own unique styling, with the configuration button on the right-hand side, and you got the same sort of configuration options through the, dis through the applications. Nicely styled distro, with great continuity between all the applications, and also it was ridiculously fast for a mid-weight distro. Now to look at the distro that was at the bottom of the table. With a score of 50%, I have JU Linux Revision 2. This distro was awful. It was bloated, buggy, just full of applications that you didn't really need. It was almost as if they'd included just about everything that anyone had ever asked for, without really thinking, does everyone actually need that application? Yeah, no, probably not. It was, it was full of so many non-essential applications, and as a result, the distro was over 3 gig large, which made updating just take absolutely ages. And also, it was based on Ubuntu 12.10. Now, there was not many distros based on 12.10, and there was good reason for that. But it was awful! <laughs> that was very buggy, and you couldn't install the graphics drivers properly, because they hadn't included the Linux headers package. Well, happy to say, <laughs> JU Linux also made the same mistake. So it had exactly the same bug as Ubuntu 12.10, so you couldn't install the graphics drivers properly. So of all those extra software they'd included, they'd, they'd failed to include the one actual package you would need. Oh, rubbish. At the top of the table, with a score of 95%, and the winner of the Quids Up Distro of the Year Award is Solid K. I absolutely love this distro, it's great for new users, KDE desktop that's based on a Debian rolling release, and they've also included a lot of extra packages, so they've got a wider selection of software than you'd normally see, and they've got brilliant control over their repositories, so the updates would be staged, and it would keep you going with a nice up-to-date system that seemed to be fairly bug-free through its lifetime. That's brilliant, you could just install it once and just keep it going and updated and it could be on your system for, well, however long Debian's going to be around for, which could be a long time yet. The bad point I've put about it there, as pity it's missing the home run launch widget, was actually sorted about a couple of weeks or so after I did the review. So that's gone now. And really, my criticism in the end of it, I suppose, was 28 second boot up time in VirtualBox, which is quite a bit longer than most distros. Really? Is it the worst thing ever? Anyway, I've never seen a fast-booting KDE-based distro. The team had gone the extra mile in making this a nice Linux distro for new users. And that's why it wins the Distro of the Year Award. So let's see what 2014 brings us. Thanks for watching. See you all later.